हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स सॉल्व दिस वन एंड अदर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर फाइव अगेन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमाइन द रिएक्शंस एट पॉइंट ए एंड बी ऑफ द बीम सब्जेक्टेड टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड यूनिफॉर्म लोड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एट विच सर्फिस अपर और लोअर इज द रिएक्शन एट ए एग्जेटेड राइट सो वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द रिएक्शन एट दिस पॉइंट ए एंड बी एंड वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन दैट वेदर दिस बीम इज टचिंग this lower roller are are it is in uh, touching position with the upper roller right so uh, we will find that right so now what we will do is that let's say that this beam is in contact with this uh, lower roller right so if it is in contact with this lower roller then uh, we will have a, a reaction in the uh, upward direction like this right so so let's say this is a reaction right and similarly at this point b we will have two reactions we will have uh, since it's a pin joint so we will have one reaction in this direction let's say this is by and we will have one another reaction let's say this is b x right so now to solve this distributed load uh, problem what we need to do is that we need to replace both of these distributed loads by their corresponding resultants right concentrated resultants right so let's say that uh, this rectangular distributed load is let's say uh, represented by r1 concentrated load right so let's say that r1 represents this distributed load associated with this rectangular area right so then this r1 will be equal to the area of this rectangle which is 4 multiplied by 3 right so this is 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 kilo newton right since uh, 4 is in meters and 3 is in kilo newton per meter so meter will cancel out so we will be left with kilo newtons right so this is r1 and as we know that uh, this concentrated load uh, which is associated with this rectangular uh, distributed load the line of action of this r1 will pass through the centroid of this rectangular area right so as we know that the centroid of rectangular area is located at the geometric center right so then uh, we can say that this r will be acting somewhere here right that is at a distance of 2 meters from from this edge of the beam right so this is that r1 and this distance is 2 meters right similarly we can find r2 r2 represents this elliptical load distribution right so as we know that the area of the ellipse is pi uh, a1 a2 right and a1 a and a2 are the uh, half of the lengths of the major and minor axes is right so if this is the center of this ellipse then this is a1 and this is a2 right and since it's a uh, uh, half of the ellipse right so we we need to divide this by 2 right so this is pi divided by 2 a1 into a2 so we can write that this is r2 pi divided by 2 and as we can see that the full uh, major axis length is 5 meters right so a1 is 5 divided by 2 this is 5 divided by 2 and a2 is uh, this intensity which is 3 kN per meter right so i will multiply this with 3 so this is uh, 5 into 315 pi divided by 4 this is r2 right and this will be in kilo newtons right this is 15 pi 15 pi divided by 4 so this is 11.78 so r2 equals to 11.78 kilo newton now we can draw that uh, free body diagram right so let's say that this is my beam right and uh, this r2 will pass through the centroid of this uh, ellip elliptical area right and as we can see that this elliptical area is symmetric about this line so this means that this r2 will pass through uh, this line right so we can represent that r2 uh, here this is that r2 this is that r2 which is equal to 11.78 kilonewton right 
So now uh, we can draw this free body diagram. This is our free body diagram. This is that uh, point A, right? So now uh, if we apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0, here we have that point B, right? So now as we can see that this R1, Bx and Bui, they are passing through this point B, right? So they will not produce the moment about this point B, right? And as we can see that this A is producing the clockwise moment about that point B, so I will write minus and the perpendicular distance of this A from that point B is uh, this distance which is equal to 8 meters, right? This is 5 plus 7 plus 1, so this is 8 meters. Right, so the moment arm of this A is 8 meters, right? So this is minus 8 into A, right? And this R2 is also producing the clockwise moment, so I will write minus R2 and R2 magnitude is 11.78 and the perpendicular distance of this R2 from that point B is 3.5, right? So that R2 is located somewhere here and this distance is 5 divided by 2, half of this which is 2.5 plus 1, so this is 3.5, right? So the perpendicular distance of this R2 from that point B is 3.5 meters, right? So I will multiply this with 3.5. So this is 3.5 and this is equal to 0. So when we solve this, so A comes out to be uh, minus 5.15 kilonewton, right? So the minus sign indicates that since we have assumed that this beam is in contact with the lower roller, but the minus sign uh, tells us that the this A reaction is acting in the downward direction like this, right? So this means that this beam is in contact with the upper roller. So from this we can say that A equals to 5.15 kilonewton, and we can say that uh, it, the contact is with the upper roller. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So now as we can see that only this Bx is acting uh, in the x direction, right? If, if this is our positive x and y direction, right? So this means that this Bx uh, reaction is 0, right? So this Bx is equal to 0. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So as we can see that this by is acting in the positive y direction. This a is acting in the positive y direction, right? So this a magnitude is minus 5.15, right? So I will write minus 5.15. This r2 is acting in the positive y direction. So this is plus 11.78 and this r1 is acting in the negative y direction. So I will write minus and r1 magnitude is 12 kilonewton. So this is this is 12 kilonewton and this will be equal to 0, right? So this is uh, minus 5.15 plus 11.78 minus 12. So this is equal to minus 5.37. So by minus 5.37, this is equal to 0. Or we can say that By from this equation we can say that By equals to 5.37 kilonewton, right? So now if we determine the total uh, resultant reaction at point B, so then that will be equal to by using the Pythagoras theorem, this will be equal to Bx square plus By square, and then we have to take the square root. And since Bx is equal to zero, so we can say that B equals to By magnitude, which is equal to 5.37 kilonewton, right? So the A reaction at point A is 5.15 kilonewton and the beam is in contact with the upper roller and the reaction at point B is 5.37 kilonewton, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.